Have you ever shot video footage of someone that doesn't want to be in your video and you need to blur out their face or their identity somehow? We're going to learn how to do that right within Adobe Premiere Pro right now. All right, so here in Premiere Pro, we're gonna be learning how to do something like this where we have a blurred out face and this blur is actually tracked to the moving face and we really don't have to do anything. It's all automated, no more editing motion with keyframes or doing it manually. So all you have to do is find the face that you want to blur out, go to the effects tab, type in blur. I like to use the Gaussian blur, but other blurs will also work. I'm just going to drop it onto our video track itself. Now, if I increase the blurriness of this blur in the effects controls window, it will blur everything out. So what you might want to do first is create a mask and I use the ellipse mask. You could also blur out something that is not necessarily like a circle or an ellipse and you could do a square or you could do even a custom Bezier sort of free drawn blur shape. All right, so now if I put this over this lady's head, I wanna make sure that I'm at the very beginning of this clip. And now I'm going to increase the blurriness to something that I think is good. This is good if you're doing documentary work or anything where you don't get releases for someone that you wanna use the, the video clip of and you have to blur out their identity. So you wanna make sure that they are not recognizable. Now, if I just left it like this, that blur is only going to stay right there. And that's not what we want. So what I want it to do is to track the motion. So Premiere Pro has this tracking option now. So if you click this wrench, you can see that it can track position, position rotation, scale, rotation. Honestly, I think just position is gonna be fine. Maybe if the object is moving and getting really big in terms of the perspective, if they're moving towards you, you might wanna choose position, scale, and rotation. If it's just someone walking across the frame though or standing still, you don't necessarily even need to use one of these trackers. I'm gonna leave it on position, scale, and rotation. And then what you do is click this play button and this is going to automatically start to track the motion and you can start to see it doing that. And it's moving and scaling and rotating this blur or whatever this mask is with this woman's face. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and process, which is gonna take a little longer. All right, so now if I go back and we can see that this blur has gone through and it has blurred this lady's face, pretty darn awesome. So one thing that you'll notice though is that the, ma the blurred mask stops right here after the lady walks out of the frame. So after she walks out or after she's about here where we can't really see her face, we might wanna get rid of this effect. Now there's a couple ways to do this. The easiest would literally be just to duplicate this video layer, put one on top. The one on bottom, we will just delete this Gaussian blur effect. And then I'm just going to trim this top video track, which is now the one with the effect applied. And then right there, it cuts to the video here that doesn't have the application. You could also apply this blur to an adjustment layer after you've tracked the motion of the face. Um, but you won't be able to track that motion just using the adjustment layer in the first place. So you'll want to apply it first to the video clip that you want to track and then do something like this if you want to get rid of that blur in the middle of the clip. Awesome. Now you could also, another trick you can do is let me extend this clip. We can decrease the opacity here. So if we set a keyframe there for 100, go one frame decrease to zero. Now that gets rid of that blur right there and you don't have to deal with duplicating video clips and things like that. So lots of ways to do a similar thing, but this is how you can track faces, moving objects, license plates, anything that you need to blur out right within Premiere Pro. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.